Hello guys, my name is Shadalia, and welcome back to another episode of Supreme Ruler Ultimate World Conquest or Bust as El Salvador. And in previous episode, we declared war on basically Netherlands and Taiwan. And Taiwan is still alive for the time being, not for long though. Actually, we can unload the troops right away. And that should be over in a matter of hours. There we go. They should surrender now. Because now we need to build a sea pier over there so we can get the troops out of there. But that's okay. In the meanwhile, uh, we were going to land the armies down here. So, why don't we unload the troops over there? Oh, they actually have some troops. Okay, we, yes, we annexed that. And we took out that. We're gonna wait for a little bit extra... I mean, actually, there is no supplies here, no. There will be supplies around here, though. But I guess we'll just load the units back into the transport. No, you're not going anywhere. Okay, so there's a fair bit of garrisons over here. Oh, if we land the troops in the harbor, we should be able to take it out. Besides, the BBI summit is actually fairly effective. Right, um... Hold on. Hold on a minute. Why does it say that there's no troops inside? Oh, okay. They were already in there. Never mind then. Much better than expected, I guess. Right, so we do have supplies around here now. We can probably make our way towards that, and then... These ships over here have almost arrived. Although not quite. What are we doing over here? We do have some supplies, so let's keep going. We can take out that one, that's going to give us a fair amount of supplies as well. After that, we might want to actually do another landing somewhere if we can. We could land over there. But the thing is, uh, from here to there, that's a pretty long trip. I don't really want to go through the jungle all that long. Let's just keep on going. Take out the whole island, basically. And with these, uh, okay, you are slightly wounded, so I'm gonna let you stay at the town for uh, maybe one more day. The other four can probably clear out most of this anyway. Okay, and these units. Actually, I'm gonna keep here, but I'm gonna quickly have a look at the B1 summit. 240 against soft targets and 225 against hard targets. Okay, yeah, it's a fairly good ship actually. Now we can clear out this area here. Might not be able to clear out this without help from ships, but I think that's alright. But yeah, the elite infantry or elite forces are just, uh, let's just say, amazing. I'm going to send you over there, I'm going to take you and I'll help taking out that, then I'm going to send two of the elite forces over here to clear out the rest of this area. You can get over there, you get over there. I mean, the elite forces are fairly expensive to make and they take a long while to be ready. But, of course, they are a lot better than the regular infantry. I mean, if we have a look at the stats from Elite Infantry, especially the close quarters or close attack is huge. Also, the soft attack is also <laughs> fairly good. Although it is a soft target itself, but it can be dropped by planes, but it's fairly heavy, so you need pretty good transports to do that. Right, we lost a little bit of territory somewhere, but that's alright. 
And do we have... We should have supplies here. So yes, we'll just take out that one. Don't think it's going to be hard to take. Yeah, that's going to be easy. In the meanwhile, how are we doing around here? We could advance further. Try to take out that one. In the meanwhile, I believe these have arrived here. So this group of elite guards load into that transport ship. And this navy going to send over there. And then they're going to land in their enemy capital over there. And hopefully we can take out that just new Guinea. We should probably start preparing for assault on the mainland Europe, actually. Now, where do we have the transport ships that we've been crafting? We do have, uh, actually, a carrier over here. That's good. Also, convoy troop ship can hold quite a bit. And there's two convoy troop ships here, and we are apparently crafting something still here. Yeah, oh yeah, it's a heavy ship. Okay, so let's start with the 112 load unit into the troop ship. Can they fit all? Oh, they can indeed, and there's still a little bit of room. How much do these weigh? A little bit. We we'll probably put this in there anyway. Oh, right, this is actually going to be poetic justice. We're going to send in Mus in the Netherlands. Mus, of course, is a Dutch himself. Uh, we can probably load them into the troop ship. Yep. Okay, so what about these? Uh, I'm gonna have a lot of troops to load in. Well, I guess that's fine. Also, that one is Spike. Okay, I think we need to send in Rommel as well. Although, since we do have this set of units here that are not in a group, if we can find where we have sent Rommel. There you are. Okay, so we're gonna actually switch Rommel's units around a little bit. We're just gonna scrap these units. And make this into the new Rommel. And Mus, I'm gonna load into the first convoy troop transports. We're still gonna have a fair bit of room, not all that much though. But what we'll do is we'll send in new Rommel for the other one, because these troops are fairly heavy. Okay, so that's got 2,000 extra and that got 2,300 extra. Once we get the heavy ship here and we get... Well, I mean, yeah, we can technically start sending some troops over. Not much, but a little bit. We probably actually, we do have another set of uh, ships over here that we could... Uh... Okay, so I'm going to load you into that one. You are actually pretty much ready to start going over, but for that we might want to use the shortest distance that we can. So we're going to ha have to start gathering the ships maybe around here. These ships, uh, there's an elephant which is, it has a little bit cargo, nothing too high though. Just gonna load it into the elephant, those elite infantry, and then this navy or group should be ready to fight, I guess. Send you over there. I guess I'm gonna send Krusty over as well. load into... actually, is there even enough room? Apparently there is. There's still a little bit extra room, but they do need some extra supplies to actually be able to cross the Atlantic. Okay, and we got two... oh right, these actually have troops inside them already. I'm just gonna send them here, I guess. Now I'll start preparing for that. I haven't actually figured out a name for this operation, but the thing is, uh, you can suggest the names in the comments down below, but the episodes are probably recorded too much in advance for me to actually see the name before it's already over. Okay, so we are producing... oh right, we were supposed to repair all this. Uh, 
That's actually more than enough for these to repair, but it's alright. Let's actually build the rail from here to over there. Having good uh, infrastructure is usually very crucial anyway. Okay, so we... Do we want to... Nah, I don't know. We could probably move that one away. How are we doing in terms of supply around here? Not very good. If I'm all honest here. Not doing all that great in terms of supply around here either. We might have enough to get over there though. We can try that. If it fails, then it fails. Uh, Navy is going around now. And we got the troops over here. Uh, you get over there and you move this way. And you two can start moving this way. Take out the islands over there. Okay, so where are we fighting now? Another, oh, okay. Yeah, that works for me. Okay, so that was easier than expected. And I'm pretty sure that this area will flip to us now. At least in theory. And uh, once we get the ships over here, they will take out that. I mean, I know that there's a few more villages somewhere, but I don't know if it's going to matter all that much. They are fairly hard to reach anyway. I mean, their military rule rating is still fairly high, actually. Oh, yes, we are gathering the fleets over there. We do have another set of... Uh... Oh right, that's waiting for that one, and this one already has the troops. Or at least a little bit of a uh, fair bit of troops, actually. I'm just gonna send you this way. I don't even know where are these... Oh, they're heading over there. Okay. I guess it's not a problem. And yeah, they are waiting for the capital ship. Uh, what about these? Pretty sure that they're doing the same. Uh, do we have more? I mean, actually, yes, we do have more over here, but this is... Uh, this is for battle only. They don't even have a transport ship, which might be a problem. So these are mostly going to be protecting her waters, I guess. Because they are going to need the supplies. And these ships were here for taking out the uh, Bahamas. I think these ships were here mostly to take out uh, Cayman and Jamaica. And then start taking out... I mean, we already got these ships here ready to take out the islands over here. And these ships are not fit for going across the river. We have the sea catcher here. And we do have cargo ships. So these could actually transport a lot of the troops. Across the Atlantic. So I'm going to send you over here as well. Gather up a nice navy and then send them towards uh, Netherlands. Now preparing will still go. Uh, it's going to take a fair bit still. So, all right, we got some ships over here as well, but nothing too huge. Uh, we don't have ships over there. Got some submarines being built over there. Do have ships? We do have some ships over here, don't we? Yeah, a little bit. They can't carry too much troops, though. But yes, we do have ships here. They could probably land some units somewhere, but the thing is where? Don't really need to do that right now. I guess we should just continue fighting here in uh, Java. So you can protect that. Two I'm gonna send over there. Now I don't know if the troops that we are about to send into Netherlands will be enough. They might not be actually. 
But if we take out, say, that port and defend that slowly, we can uh, probably expand. At least if we can get big enough of a bridgehead to actually be able to cycle the troops back and forth to be repaired. But I mean, it's gonna be very urban fighting heavy, so that might be a problem. But I'm gonna give it a try, eventually. Now I know that I do have some transports over here, but getting them on the Atlantic front is gonna take ages, so I'm not gonna even try that, quite frankly. At least for the time being. You are way too old ships to actually cross the Atlantic. Safely, that is. Oh, Merchant Marine, wait a minute. Huh. Are they trying to land somewhere? They might. I don't know. Yeah, they might. Well, that is interesting. Right, we don't actually have any naval production around here. We were supposed to build some naval production around here, though, at some point. So, since we do have the money, let's actually start doing that. So, if we put in naval production there. Okay, the port is going to point inside for some reason, but... I guess it's fine. And then we also get a uh, gun emplacement. I think also a radar. Oh, okay, uh, so that has 64. That has almost 200 kilometers, so that's gonna be good. Is there something else we could place there? We could place a missile silo. Gonna be very military heavy, and I think there was some sort of uh, anti. Oh yeah, air defense. There we go. We'll just build a rail from here to there, and then build some supply depots over here. And Galapagos Islands will be. Heavily defended, let's just put it that way. I'll probably send this uh, navy to intercept that merchant marine over there. I don't know what he's even trying to do. Can I actually see what he's carrying? Motorcycle recon. Okay. Sure. There we go. We're gonna regroup over there. So we have destroyed one ship from the Netherlands. And medical MRI. Okay, uh, we can get next thingy over there. Uh, we don't actually need the extra research uh, lab on right now. I mean, we got a lot of extras that we can turn on if we need be. But that, that's the thing, we don't really need them right now. Okay, we are getting a lot of supplies around here, or at least a lot of reach, so we can advance further. Do we have actually, well, the supplies haven't really reached that far yet. They probably will, just not quite yet. So how are we doing here? Actually, since it's only industrial, we might be able to take it with just one infantry. I'm gonna send you two over there. But this unit is going to stay here on the railway, should they try to send in troops through the rails. We could actually try to take out that village as well. Not very... Well, okay, well this is going to be easy. These units don't get promotions on this uh, campaign, I'm surprised. Research breakthroughs, space probes. I will lost some territory somewhere. Okay, extra vehicular activities. I will probably win the space race, quite frankly. 
I mean, I, I already have satellites. Now, to be fair, I don't know how the reconnaissance satellites work right now. I haven't really used them before. But I suspect that they probably give me some vision over some parts of the world or something, or I can possibly send them. Or I don't know. But it's only 3% right now anyway, so it's going to be a bit hard to spot. Okay, so apparently one unit is enough to take out garrisons in a village. Good to know. So how are we doing? No, it hasn't spread yet, but we've been fighting for almost a month now. We're taking out a lot of the enemies, actually. Our ships are still on their way, but we took out that one, so we should be able to advance further south, I think. Um, not really. Not at yet. Not yet, at least. I was to say. But how are we doing here? Okay, the area is expanding for our advantage. Uh, we can probably build the rail further here. There we go. But not really fighting all that heavy, other than with the few troops in Java. Actually, do we have... Uh, we were crafting more units here. They are almost ready. We could actually go get another set of units for Java. Or that area, anyway. We can carry a fair bit, actually. But you do need some repairs, so I'm going to send you... All over there first. And I'm going to send one of you to be repaired, I think. Probably over there. And then... Well, the ships on that crew get repaired so they can... Do what they need to do. Hold on, where are we actually fighting? I can hear fighting somewhere, I just don't know where. Oh, did they try to land troops here? They're dead. Blimey. Okay, well, what we can do... We can grab these units from here. Land them over there to defend. Do we have... Uh, we do have the cruisers and destroyers. I'm gonna send you to intercept those. For the time being. Okay, interesting. Yeah, there's our merchant ships. There's, they're not very good. Yeah, they are trying to send in more troops. So we need to be fast. Okay, load into that. And load into that one. And you two I'm gonna send over there. I mean I could have used the sea transport quite frankly, but I don't know. I just prefer to use the transports although it is actually in a way worse because you need to micro it. Okay, I'm gonna give the escort ships something to do. Calm that ship down. Should be faster. There we go. Okay, so we got that. Oh, they are landing troops in here as well. Oh, they're sending in elite troops. Oh. Okay. Oh, they're about to capture that. Um, what about we unload the troops there now? Please? There we go. Should be able to take it out now. Just pure firepower. Okay, so with the... Mm, <laughs> Pre-First World War ships, we can probably try to defend the ports the way that they can't actually send in troops. Or at least try. Oh, right, we yeah, we lost the garrison unit. That was quite frankly to be expected. So how are we doing? We got these ships here, but yeah, that actually 
Now that I think of it, we might want to send these ships somewhere over here to do some trolling to prevent the enemy ships going through here. So yeah, I'm gonna send you over there. Because I'm pretty sure that that is the area that they sent their sh transport ships through anyway. And that Elite Force should die. Of course, we are going to take some losses here as well. But I believe those troops were something that they sent in from the start of the war, oddly enough. Oh, wait. Why am I not using the submarines over there? Do I have any submarines nearby? I mean, we got a little bit of submarines over there, but we have two sets of submarines over here, do we not? We do. So let's send one of these down south. To hell with the patrolling. France wants to buy consumer goods, okay. Okay, so we destroyed the infantry and now we destroyed that ship. Okay, good. Send the transports over there. Don't think we really need them right now. And yeah, these ships are mostly very slow and old. They can't really carry much, and they are, well, weak, to be quite frank. Okay, so we don't have enough supply around here. Can we cl quickly try to bum rush those places then? Well, this should be easy, and that should be fairly easy as well. How are we doing in Java? Okay, so we captured that. Can't really cross over there right now. We probably don't need to focus on that, quite frankly. I mean, we got the ships that are going up north. They're not there yet, but they will be eventually. And we can maybe bring them down here, take out that island, then maybe that, and then... I don't know. Can't really take out that one quite yet. But I mean, maybe take out that one at least, and then take the troops into Sumatra. Okay, so you should be able to take out that one, right? You can get over there. And yeah, these two are going to take a while to get over here, but then we'll start advancing further west. Check out these. We should start spreading supplies around us, I think. Not very fast though, but in given time. Okay, so we got Yes, we did send two sets of uh, ships into one hex, I think. That's the escorts. So, do we have two battleships here? No. Oh well, it doesn't really matter all that much. We could uh, maybe send one of these over there and then. To even the fleets up a little bit. Submarines are going south. This is still waiting for a ship. As are these. Oh right, those are actually transport helicopters, but they don't have enough cargo space to actually carry the elite forces, which is a bit unfortunate. Oh, we actually got more submarines over here that we could send to further south. Oh, so let's do that. We can actually send these submarines all the way here to be the last uh, resort to fight the enemy. Right, so how are we doing here? We are fighting. Well, we are fighting very well. I'll we'll actually take out that one, I think. We're gonna start moving along the rail. You are already going there. And these elite forces are going to take a while. That is pretty much the only downside of the foot mobiles. They are slow. Okay, so we do have splash around here. We do indeed. Not much around there, but we can probably just rush there. And it's fairly short distance anyway. It's a bit more troops than I expected. I was expecting three garrisons, nothing else, but okay. 
about these? There's not much we can do. I mean, that is too far away to actually reach it right now. We're gonna have to wait for the supplies to actually spread. Which we could help with uh, some supply depots. And railway, but it's gonna take a while to, get, to be completed anyway. Okay, what about these ships? I'm gonna send them over there. Should they try to send in troops from that direction, we can easily take them out. Right, so we defended those islands quite nicely. So that's good. Now actually, we do have this set of ships that we could... Let's go somewhere to pick up more troops. And we can send in even more armies into the Netherlands. But it would appear that it's not going to be easy to take them out, so we're going to have to be prepared. Wait, why are we bombarding? Oh, over here. Major Marine. I mean, yeah, as long as we blockade basically the ports from the enemy. Or protect the ports from the enemy, rather, because we're not blockading them. I mean, it's our... They are ours already. The ports, that is. But yeah, uh, it would appear that we have actually reached the end of this episode as well. So if you enjoyed, please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Also check out my Discord and Patreon links down below. But other than that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.